Hey guys, I wanted to bring you guys my first video of the How To Chem series that I'm planning on doing. I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to set up a class that is pretty good for chems. These are the ones that I mainly use. I mainly use two when I'm going for chem strikes specifically. The main one that you can use that is probably the most useful is the Honey Badger. The reason I recommend the Honey Badger is because you can put basically three attachments on it for free and one doesn't have to be red dot because the iron sights on it are really good. And it's a pretty much an SMG and a assault rifle on both. It's not the best long range, but it's pretty good long range and it's good close up. It's kind of like an SMG slash assault rifle hybrid. So, I run the grip and extended mags on it, that helps you out for the long range fights, like I said it struggles there a little bit, so you really want to run the grip, and the extended mags helps you out a lot for both keeping ammo so you don't have to run around picking up scav packs every two seconds, and also so you can kill multiple people right in a row together. I like running agility and stalker just to give you kind of the edge on running away from people or running to people, one of the two. Stalker helps out with the aiming down the sights and going around corners, if you know somebody's there it kind of gives you the upper hand of people trying to hip fire. Dead silence is a must, in my opinion. I mean, people are going to be running Amplify, but still it helps you out for the people that aren't, and a lot of people in public matches aren't going to be running any kind of headphone system, so it gives you a huge advantage on those people. Hopefully you do have headphones because it helps out a lot, which goes my next perk of Amplify. Amplify helps you out a ton. You can hear when they spawn. Just because you know the spawn points doesn't mean that you're going to be able to specifically kill them because you might not know they're there. If you can't hear them, they could sneak up behind you if you're looking in a different direction. I mean, it just helps out a ton. So Amplify is one of the big ones for getting chem strikes. And then the last one I have on my regular set of perks is the Focus. Focus is huge. If you get in a gunfight and you get shot and you don't have Focus, usually you're pretty much done right there. It also helps out with Weapon Sway, which is another thing with Grip. So it helps you out twice, sort of, for the long range of the Honey Badger, trying to make it a little bit better. but. I would definitely run focus. I think it's mandatory on just about every assault rifle. A lot of people like running on SMGs too, which in my opinion varies on your gameplay depending on how close you get to the people, stuff like that. Obviously you're going to lose a lot more fights long range if you don't have focus on, so just run that. And then I'll get into my specialist right after that. I run scavenger on the <coughs> first of my bonuses just because usually by that time, depending on how many long range gunfights you've had, you might already be low on ammo. You get three kills real quick, great, you pick up ammo, then you start getting on your streak, you can start locking down an area without having to worry about picking up the ammo every two seconds. After that, I have Hardline. That's just pretty much a no-brainer in my opinion. It'd be nice to run it earlier, but I didn't find a worry way to fit it in directly. It helps you get kill streaks faster, and it also makes it so if you put a couple shots on people across the map, <coughs> you can get uh, the assist counts for kill. If you get two assists, it gives you the extra kill and that goes towards your chem strike for those that you didn't know. Then I run Deadeye. Deadeye is pretty big. The only thing that's bad about Deadeye is it's five points. So instead of getting your specialist bonus early, you have to get it at 14 kills, 13 with the hard line, but it's still a little bit of a downfall. But it's really nice to have. It doesn't take up a lot of slots because you're running specialist and it doesn't make it so it takes extra slots. It just makes you get extra kills before you hit the actual specialist bonus. But it does a lot more damage, so definitely run Deadeye. That's also another must-have, in my opinion. After I get that, I run Sleight of Hand. Sleight of Hand's nice to run earlier on if you can. It's just I don't like it. If you want, you can probably switch out Sleight of Hand and Agility. But it's just kind of it's up in the air. It's what you want to do. Other than that, I pretty much just run Resistances. I have Blast Shield down at the bottom in the green on the right side and then I also have ICU and resilience for falling. The resilience for falling is nice in case you're trying to run away from somebody on say prison break. Let's say you're on the hill, you start getting shot, you want to run away and there's another guy behind you. You can fall off the hill and if you don't have resilience you're gonna die just because you're already low. Which it kinda sucks to end a streak that way so that's why I really like to run resilience. The ICU helps out with just recovering quicker. It's I, I mean, obviously, that's what the perk says it does and everything like that, but you don't really notice the big difference until you use it. I only have it when I'm on specialist bonus, which is really nice, because that way I'm used to not recovering as quickly, so when I do recover quicker like that, it's just kind of a bonus to me. I run Gambler as my next one just because I didn't really find a, somewhere to fit another one perk item in there at. Like, I've ran my secondary before on these classes, so Gambler, you're kind of just taking a risk, hopefully, obviously, with the name again. Uh, hopefully, it pays off for you, but... Yeah, there's no, really no telling. The other class that I use a lot is the exact same perk setups. I just copy the class and I run the SC2010. The SC gun is a better overall gun in my opinion. You just don't have the advantage of having the three free perks because for one, I don't like the iron sights on the gun, so I don't get to run grip or ex well, I do run extended mags, but I don't get to run grip and extended mags. So I'm running the red dot and the extended mags, which makes your gun a little shaky at the end. 
but it's it pays off, I guess. Uh, that way you can string a bunch of kills together and not have to worry about the ammo as much. Uh, I'm not going to go through the perks again, obviously they're all the same, so those are the two easiest classes for me. The Honey Badger is definitely the one that I would prefer to use over the two, but it kind of gets boring using the same gun over and over again, so I would make sure that you switch it up a little bit, keep the game exciting, and try out this class as well. It's just harder because you don't have the silencer. But those are the ways I set up my classes. There's also other ways to do it. I mean, I've dropped counts with other classes, just those are the two I'd recommend, so hopefully those help you out a little bit.